So that's a wrap. I am leaving Disney right now, headed to West Palm, Florida to go hang out with Joe Troyer, Brian Anderson, and we are going to work with a group of marketers to improve their efforts in terms of selling right now. It's gonna take me probably two hours to drive down. I got a driver to take me because I have a couple of calls that I need to make. And one of those calls is discussion with my team about a presentation that we have going on right now. And what makes that, the interesting thing about that is the presentation being run on the other end is by another marketer and his team. And I think he pays his team very poorly and they their work quality shows from it. I just wanted to make a quick comment that like if you're building a team and you want people to provide value and represent your business, you don't want to skimp out on that. You want to pay people what they're worth, right? And if you are trying to surround yourself with smart people, and I hope you are, I hope your team is full of smart people, you're going to need to pay them a little bit of money. And that little bit of money will get you peace of mind because you don't want to be nickel and diming people who you're going to be relying on to represent your business. That's never going to work. It's very short-sighted. Now, there are ways to growth hack this and get started on a budget, which is incrementally increasing pay, but you have to have good communication with your team while you're doing this. So don't skip out on paying your people what they're worth. So one of the first things I do when I check into a hotel is I check to see if they have a gym because I like to, as many of you know, work and then do some exercise to help reset my mind in the middle of work, in the middle of webinars, in the middle of training. So this place looks to be pretty basic, but not bad. And they gave me a little Hilton reward gift. So that was nice. Decent looking pool. So this looks pretty good. Now I get to go up to my room, get settled in, and uh, get to work. So here I am in Jupiter, Florida. It's another beautiful day. It's always beautiful for the most part down here. The sun is shining. I'm just waking up, answering some emails. I'm gonna go hit the gym and then I am actually headed over to the Digital Triggers office where uh, Joe Troyer and his team are creating some awesome content. And I'm actually gonna head over and just post up for a little bit do some work from that office. I have a couple of webinars and trainings that I need to do, but it will be really cool to go over there and collaborate with those guys a little bit because what they're doing is absolutely crushing it. And anytime that I can get around those guys, I love to because they really help me to level up my game. And so if anybody has anyone that they know that is interested in building a business or entrepreneurship, you should probably hang out with those people as much as possible. Because if you hang out with people that are constantly trying to grow and nurture their business and they have a similar lifestyle as you, those are the type of people that you really, really want to attract, right? And if you if you are that type of person, hopefully you will attract those types of people. And if you can surround yourself with those types of people as much as possible, that is what you will grow. That is what you will manifest that is what you will manifest in your life. If you are a really negative person and you're constantly surrounding yourself with other negative people, you probably manifest a lot of negativity. But when you want to set some goals and reach a higher level of success, this is the way to do it. So I'm waiting here for my ride to get here before I head over to the Digital Triggers office. And there was something that I was just thinking about that I read last night on PJ, Paul James's Instagram. and. 
it was an infographic about how successful people have mastered the ability to build and form a routine. And the reason that they're successful is because they can take action on that routine every single day. And those little things that they do eventually add up to do something big. Now, my routine for most people that have been following around, now most of you that have been following my channel for even a little bit of time, my routine is generally always the same. And I think for myself, following my routine, waking up in the morning, having some coffee, going straight to work, then doing something to reset my mind, refocus, come back, work again, those types of things, spending uh, family time at night, that has allowed me to continue to be happy while I'm on this journey of entrepreneurship. And I know a lot of people have tried to get a routine going, but fail to execute it consistently. Like they do it after a week or they do it for two weeks and then they eventually give up. Now, the thing that separates most people that are successful or not, they're, they're the ones that get to push past. They are the ones that have the ability to push past those difficult times when they wanna give up on their routine. So I think it's a, it was a great infographic, great reminder. And when I saw the path of the routine that was in the infographic, it was funny to me because I, my, each step along the way of the infographic, I followed it to the T. So I thought it was a success when I saw that for myself. I kind of think that my Uber driver was a, uh, was either a Christmas elf or a serial killer. <laughs> We are about to go get some uh, <laughs> steak, I think. Joe's taking me for a ride. fun now I've got a webinar with Damien and Tom and we are going to talk about how to get appointment setters to help our offline sharks to get more appointments and bookings in their calendar so they can land more clients now if you can use an appointment center to reach out and make contact to businesses for you this will save you a lot of time right like imagine if you could wake up tomorrow and have five appointments in your calendar and the entire outreach process has been bypassed like what would that do for your business so that's what this webinar is all about um, i'm gonna jump on here right now waiting here for Joe to come pick me up. I'm at his office, Digital Triggers, and I got to thinking, maybe I should open a storefront or get an office space. It might be kind of cool to have an environment where a bunch of like-minded people can get together and collaborate while working, right? Up until this point, I've really worked from my home office or remotely from wherever I was traveling. But after seeing what Joe and his team have here, it's definitely pretty cool, you know? So it's, it's the seed has been planted across my mind. The only thing that I really consider is if I really wanna be tied down to one location. I like to travel, I like to do a lot of things that are not tied to one area. That doesn't mean that I still, that I couldn't still do that. I would just need to get my team and system in place for a location. So it's something that I'm thinking about I think it could be pretty cool, but also it could be a big overhead. And I think what a lot of people do wrong is they try to scale too quickly. I could open a, a office space because I'm at that level or I could totally afford it. It'd be a great write-off, but I see a lot of people open a storefront or get an office space too quickly and their overhead is way too high, causing them to have to make decisions in their business that are just out of making money to keep the roof over their head. And you know, that's, that's when people do things too soon. You wanna have a long-term picture and plan when it comes to doing something like opening an office space. You know, you definitely wanna have some revenue coming in or at least a blueprint in terms of how that revenue is gonna come in to pay for that space for at least six months. I mean, I wouldn't feel comfortable 
opening up an office without having enough rent as a cushion for at least a few months. I mean, you know, if all hell breaks loose, you need to be able to pay your bills without having any issues. You know, what if you have a slow month? So for me, it's really about just making the decision if I want to be tied down to the old ball and chain. So we're about to play some virtual reality and Joe forgot his shoes. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> he needs to come back so we can play a game, but he had to go to the car to go get his shoes. But we are about to play some, from what I hear, epic virtual reality. So we just got in. This is the house that we're staying at. For the next five days, we're gonna be doing an intensive mastermind with about 20 people, deep dive into their business, help them improve their efforts, take things to the next level. It's gonna be a lot of fun. That was a lot of content, mind blown. I just got off a uh, sales call and the rest of the members are working on a webinar presentation. Yeah, you know, it's just, it's, it's, I'm stoked to be here. Um, it's a privilege for me to be here. And uh, we had this barbecue at our friend's house the other night and it was awesome. And mm -hmm. I thought it'd be a good idea to you know, we are a man from San Antonio too. I know you love it, look at him. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this, this week, this weekend is gonna be awesome. Uh, I know we're all gonna get a lot of information going around this house that we can all use to take our business to the next level, so looking forward to it. But what did you learn? Nick, you can tell them what you learned. What did I learn? Yeah, what did you learn? 12.5%, uh, three repairs in my business. 10x, did you say 10x? 10x, 10x, 10x. all right, there oh, you go. Okay. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> So while everybody is going on in the room, while everybody is busy working on their presentations, I actually have a couple of leads I need to follow up with. One of them is a attorney on Maui. He does, what kind of law does he do? He is a land and real estate property attorney. So I'm gonna follow up with him, 
pitch him probably a $5,000 or so website, see if he's interested in us helping him take his marketing to the next level. And then after that, I am going to help a couple of people work on their webinar presentations. Now the webinar presentations are all about people that are here which are in specific industries. We got a pest control guy, we got an insurance person, we got a energy healer, a uh, number of different people in different industries, but they are looking to create a webinar offer promoting their marketing services because they've done well in their industry marketing themselves, but they are looking to sell marketing services to other people in their industry, or at least the know-how to market those businesses in their industry. So they're becoming sort of the expert in their field and we're teaching them how to do that. Also how to sell their expertise through a webinar so they can reach multiple people in one presentation. And that's how the, that's the beautiful thing about webinars is that you can have multiple people, hundreds of people. Sometimes we have 300 people on one call and we are able to do one presentation, sort of like a live event and you can drop value and content and then you have the opportunity to sell your products and services to this audience. And there are a lot of cool things that you can do like record the GoToWebinar presentation, replay it, send it out later on, and use it for uh, long after you've actually recorded it. And it's been a really profitable way to grow my business and so we are teaching the people here how to do that for themselves as well.